Tell me when you're ready. Go. Isaiah 61 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. I read that text. That's not my message, but I want God to anoint me. Praise God. Amen. So I read that because if I don't, if I'm not anointed, what am I doing? Nothing. My subject today is patience. 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 In the past, we've talked about don't be thin-skinned. But I was in my meditation. I didn't get a, a, a rhema word. But this scripture in Luke 21, 19. The Holy Spirit will talk to you in dreams and visions, but he will talk to you through the Bible. Amen? Amen. Luke 21, 19. It says, In your patience possess ye your soul. In your patience Possess ye your soul. 21. Read it in French. 19. Luke 19. Luke 21, 19. 21. Luke. 21. Luke. 21. The word patience, it doesn't sound exciting. But I'll tell you this. It. When I really it's meditate on it, it is an exciting thing. Par votre persévérance, vous sauverez vos âmes. Par votre persévérance, vous sauverez vos âmes. Okay. In your patience, the French word is perseverance. Which is perseverance. Which is perseverance. Perse yes, perseverance. Perseverance. Is it, is it, is it the same? Yes, yes, yes. Same. I, 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 the, the funny thing your, is, with your patience, you will possess. You will, your soul. You will, yes. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world endurance. but lose his soul? The Bible says that God breathed into man and man became a living soul. The soul is the breath of God. Amen? What can be done with the breath of God? Anything. Anything. God spoke. God created. You are a soul. You are more valuable than the whole world. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? What does it profit a man to be president of the United States and lose his soul? Nothing. This week, my aunt died. She, they, they took the ventilator off of her. They, it's a funny thing too. I taped her and we prayed for her. I was praying, I, I told you I did not hear from God. I was using my faith for a miracle for her. But the night before she died, I saw death. I saw it. I saw it in word and I saw it in picture. So when I went to the hospital, I was prepared as much as possible to deal with death. And the doctors, they took the mask off of her and she died five minutes. She opened her eyes, the last breath, and she died. I don't know if she's in hell. I don't know if she's in paradise. She was, I hadn't seen her in many years and she was going to this place where they did not worship Jesus Christ. 
the man there, he told me, he said, I have not read the Bible. One of, one of, two of them came from where she was going, where she was meeting. And he said, I have not read the Bible since I was a child. But he said, what I saw happen today, what he heard me say, I don't know, the Spirit of God must have touched him. He says, I'm going to read the Bible again. I don't know if she's in hell. I don't know if she's in paradise. I don't know. And it, 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 in a sense, I have to move on. My message today is not about death. My message is about being patient. But one day all of us here are going to die. Unless God chooses to make you like Enoch. You walk with God and God just take you. This is me. I pray for my destiny. Amen? Amen. That God will just take me. Yes. Amen? Like Elijah. He sent the chariots come. It's time to go home. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. So when I am down here, I am, I, I am working trying to God whatever you have to do. Because you know what? If God do for Enoch and Elijah, he can do for me too. Amen? Amen. Amen. But he said, in your patience, possess you your soul. Sephora. If you give Sephora uh, 2015 or 14 Bentley, a Rolls Royce. Expensive, very expensive. <laughs> Sephora, if you give her a Rolls Royce, 2014, what can she do with it? Nothing. She will lie. She will play with. She will sleep with. She is sleeping. As, as, as she, she is and Thierry th will that. drive it. <laughs> 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 but not Sephora. <laughs> this is like your soul. You have your soul, but you don't possess it if you are not patient. Do you understand what I'm saying? The soul is the breath of God, God in you. But you are not possessing it. Amen? You are not like Moses. Not like Elijah. Not like Peter. Amen? But we, want, we have to be, we have to possess our soul. Amen? He said, in, Jesus said, in your patience, possess your soul. The previous word was, do not be thin-skinned. Amen? In James 1 to 4, we read. No, 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 no. Let patience have her perfect work. James 1, James 1. He said, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. James 1. Yes. You have situations, problems. Rejoice! Amen? He said, count it as a joy. You have an opportunity to possess your soul. You have an opportunity for God to, to show up and show off in your life. Amen? There is a transformation that is effected as a result of you becoming patient. What, what do I mean? Now, this is... Patience in the midst of a storm. Amen? You are in the midst of a storm. 
Once I was a boy in Jamaica and there was a thunderstorm and there were a lot of waves and we used to swim a lot and for some reason I go swimming <laughs> in the thunderstorm and the waves and when I'm in the water, I feel like something grab my feet and pull it me down. Mm -hmm. You know, in the, when you flush the toilet and the water, mm -hmm. it was the water. I was in the midst of a storm. But I was calm. And I, I'm trying to come out right here, but I swim to the left a little bit. And I come out like down by Springfield Gardens. But I come out of the water, praise God. In your patience, in the midst of a storm. Another time I was in a car. And the gas is working, but the brake is not. That's a problem. What do you do? The brake is not working. But the gas is. Drive the car. Drive. Drive I'm slow. driving. I, when I'm driving, I find out. Mm. I drive slow. Drive slow. You can't drive slow. <laughs> the brake is not, but the gas is. <clears throat> but you what? could you could take your foot off you the jump gas. Off the jump out the car. Yeah, just, uh, you could take your. You foot would off hurt the gas. yourself. You could yeah. take your foot off the Pray. gas. I put it in reverse. Mm. Okay. I hear boom, and I get out the car, and I'm okay. But why can't you just but stop you pressing broke, the gas? You, you broke the car. But I am not broke. Yeah. But <laughs> it's better the car broke. Than better the car break than me to break. But why can't you stop pressing your foot on the gas? We preach it then. We record it. <laughs> you don't understand. But hear what I'm saying. In, in you, you have to be patient in the storm. Amen? We are... I have to be patient with God. With Julio. Amen? We met him and he walked. The other day, he foot swell up. He's no longer walking with the walker. He can, you know. But they are afraid. And so with my patience now, I have to say thank you, Lord. The patience, when you are patient. Let me explain something. I honestly think that God is looking for a person that he can take over. And yet they still keep their will. He's looking for somebody to manifest himself in. Amen? When he told me, do not be thin-skinned, see, God does not want to be walking in you and you angry and acting crazy on the street and embarrassing God. He said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do what I say? Mm -hmm. Because if you name the name of God, he, there must be a difference. Something must be different about you. And when you become patient, you say, I know my God is able. I know my God can do it. Amen? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They told them to bow down or they were going to throw them in the fire. They said, we are not going to do this. We said, they said, we are not going to bow. If God come, if God don't come, we are not doing it. Notice what they said. If God does not come, we are not doing it. This is the key to patience. 
God did not come when you wanted him to come. You tithe and you go broke. And you, the devil come and talk to you and say, Oh, you wasted your money. You, you could have stupid. Uh, you, you, you're wasting your time there. And you listen. But when you are patient, God didn't move, but you keep moving. Because you know that God is coming. Amen? Amen. I noticed, I heard a pastor, he was on TV, and he said, God, I can't, he was, he was a rapper, and he was making money in the world, and he switched and became a preacher. And he was talking to God in the pulpit, and he said, God, I cannot do like you did Abraham. He made Abraham wait 25 years. He made Caleb wait 40 years. But God came when God wanted to come. Amen? Amen. There, uh, I heard Norval Hayes say there's one verse that says God will come speedily, quick. One verse. And you must be thanking him night and you must thank him day. Julio, listen to what I'm saying. There's one verse about quick with God. Thank him night, thank him day. Cry out night and day. Thank you, I'm healed, God. Thank you, I'm blessed. Thank him night and day. There's only one verse about quick. A lot of times God said, be patient and wait. He says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that she may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. When God sees somebody is patient, then God can come in and take over. And manifest himself in that person. Does anybody want God to take them over? This is what we say now we made in the image and likeness of God. This is why he's telling the church do not be thin skinned. Don't let the devil come and just change your attitude, change your mind. And you get frustrated. You must be patient. Hallelujah. The verse further goes down to say, But if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So number one, if you lack patience today, ask God for patience. Amen? But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind, and toss for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord a double minded man is unstable in all his ways God says if you are not patient if you are double minded don't think you're getting anything you're going to get nothing Because you're double-minded. Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Now, the Bible says if we have faith and we speak to the mountain and we don't doubt, it should move. Doubt, the double mind, is our enemy. How do we kill doubt? How? We have, I, I often talk about the example of a pair of headphones. It has one little short. 
and then the headphones are not good. We have faith, but doubt. And then the faith doesn't work. You're talking and nothing is happening. Now, let me say this. You can pray and you can have faith, but if God says no, nothing's going to happen. So what you have faith for must be in, in the will of God. But even Mary, you know, Mary, Jesus' mother, she, there was no, no water, no wine for the wedding, remember? Mm. And she tell Jesus, and Jesus said, it's not my time. Remember? But, she had experience with Jesus. Amen? Maybe, the Bible don't say, but maybe at home there was no more wine, no grape juice. And she said, Jesus, and Jesus says, make it, you know? He did it before. Amen. Hallelujah? And he said, not my time. And she looked at him and she tell him, whatever he tell you to do, just do it. She had experience. Mm -hmm. Huh? You kill doubt by your experience. Go to Romans 5. Your experience. The Bible said the children of Israel, they forgot what God did. Amen? We need to have a computer program with all of the answered prayer and all the prayers not answered. Amen? And then we print out all of the answered prayers sometime and we just thank God for them. And we look at the ones that He's working on. I want this to be a computer program. We have a database. Hallelujah! <laughs> We're going to get high tech. Hallelujah! Because as a church, we have to know what is not what. Whose prayer is not being answered? What is it? Is, is it sin in your life? Are we not having faith? What We have to adjust. Amen? All the sheep must be fat. Like the pastor. Just kidding. <laughs> fat in the spirit. Not fat in the flesh. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Theory still stay slim. Amen? No. <laughs> Praise God. Romans 5 verse 4. Romans 5. Yes. Uh, read, read three, four, and five. Bien plus, nous nous glorifions même des afflictions, sachant que l'affliction produit la persévérance. La persévérance, la victoire dans l'épreuve, et cette victoire, l'espérance. Five. Mm -hmm. Or, l'espérance ne trompe point, parce que l'amour de Dieu est répandu dans nos cœurs par le Saint-Esprit qui nous a été donné. Ok, let me read now. And not, Lady Missy, can you read for me verse 3, 4, and 5? And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Know that tri tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope make it not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Okay. Know that tribulated tribulation were in your patience you possess your soul. In your patience you possess the Rolls Royce. Right now you have a soul, but most of you don't possess it. You are not using the breath of God. You have the breath of God, but you're not using it. Because you don't know how to use it. Amen. And because you're not patient. God is not stressed out. Uh, what, what is God worried about? Nothing. He is sad about people going to hell. Because you choose to reject the sacrifice of Jesus at the cross. But he is not worried about nothing. Amen? Amen. He is God. No matter what problem we have, God put his hand on it. That's it. Amen? Amen. You remember I, I had the word about the atmosphere. 
the pastor, he was running around the pulpit. Remember I told you? I had a dream. They wanted me to preach. And they say, can you guarantee the people will be healed? And I said, no, only God can do that. And the pastor get another man to preach. And the man is running around the pulpit. He's performing in the pulpit. They put me aside. And then a woman come and she's screaming that I should be the one to preach. Then I was somewhere sleeping and they come and get me. And the woman said, she bring both the pastor who was preaching, dancing around the pulpit and the one who asked me to preach. He was a famous preacher. And the woman said, you are the one that God will work through. And I said, we have to set the atmosphere for God to come. Amen? Then I get the word about not being thin-skinned. Patience sets the atmosphere for God to come in you. Because you are patient. Amen? You know how to wait on the Lord. But doubt kills patience. So you have to remember your experiences with God. What did God do for you? How many of you have a list of prayer trophies? You have a list of what God has done. You write down. Ah, church, we need this. You must, people, the Bible says the children of Israel, they forgot what God did. They forgot what God did. We must continually, as we continue to remember and put before us what God did, we cannot doubt. Because we know, we remember, sometimes we forget, amen? In your patience, possess your soul. And then, because you have experience, because you have experience, you don't have this thing what you want, but you say, I know my God can do it. He did it before. Hallelujah. You don't see nothing and you just say, Hallelujah, the Lord is able. You become patient. If it don't happen yet, you look and you say, Oh, it's not time yet. Or you just say, you thank God. You have patience because you know there is a spiritual fight going on. You have experience. You just keep... The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. When you are patient, you can joy in the Lord. Now, if you are grumbling and mumbling and complaining, you are not patient. Everybody say to me, complaining, complaining. is praising... Is praising the devil. The devil. You are telling the devil he is doing a good job. Hmm. Complaining, Complaining is praising, is praising the, devil. the devil. Now I'm gonna ask, don't answer this question, but how many people in the church complained last week? About what? We have to stop it. Yes, we, we need to stop it. We can complain by asking God to do something. He, we have to know He's already doing it. Because uh, if you prayed once, this yes. If you prayed for it before, you have to thank Him. Yes. But when you are complaining, you are double-minded. What does He say? If you have a double-minded, what you gonna get? Nothing. Complaining is a disease. <laughs> we all have it. We all have it. We don't complain. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Lord, mercy, have mercy, dear God. <laughs> number, f I'm going to end with this word. Go to Numbers 14. Numbers 14. No, 40. Uh, 14, plutôt. Oh, man, I think. Mm. 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 Mm
tombez pas. Vous êtes tombé. The Lord sent the 12 spies to search out the land. God wanted to give them the land. Amen. God wants to give the land to living water. To the people of living water. Amen. As a good pastor, I must be trying to lead you to the promised land. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, now I am bragging how I am rich in God. Amen. But I need to be rich in the earth too. Amen. Amen. And I realize God was taking me some places sometimes. You understand what I'm saying? And my mouth said the wrong things. Amen? We have to be patient with this. Amen? In verse 8, uh, verse eight mm -hmm. read, uh, read, read there. Okay. The Bible says, if the Lord delight, Caleb said, if the Lord delight in us, then he would bring us into this land and give it to us. A land which floweth with milk and honey. A land with cows and bees. Because <laughs> if you have milk and honey, you must have cows and bees. Amen? Amen? Now, who wants to go to the promised land? Everybody. Me too. Me too. Amen. Amen. The Lord has to delight in you. Amen? Amen. If you are not patient, he is not going to delight in you. If you he does not delight in lack of faith, in doubt. Amen? Amen. He delights in faith. He delights. There is something about God that when you don't see what you are asking him for and you say, Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And some people say, Why are you praising God? Because you know you have experience with God. You know, it's a funny thing. The, 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 in Hebrews 4, it says, By not enter, you have to labor to enter into the rest. Labor to enter into the Sabbath. And it says, Some didn't enter because of unbelief. Because of unbelief, we don't keep the Sabbath. The Bible says that. Now time is up, so I'm going to end it right now. But all I'm trying to say is this. We have to develop, become patient people. We have prayed for something. And we don't get frustrated and complain. Like Caleb, he went, he saw giants. And he said, if the Lord delighted me, we can do it. The rest of the people, they complained. And what happened? God... Kill them. God killed them. Killed them young. And a whole new generation came. Joshua and Caleb alone made it. Not even Moses made it. Moses saw it. Guard your tongue. Amen. You can look at your patience from your mouth. What are you doing with this? Are you praising God? Are you complaining? Now listen to me, everybody. We're going to play a game this week. You, we, we must count each time the other person complains. Amen? She's complaining. <laughs> we must try and catch each other amen because mm -hmm. we complain without even realizing it 
And the Bible says, in your patience, possess your soul. As you become patient, we will walk in the image and the likeness of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, if you are watching this and you have not accepted Jesus Christ, we invite you to join with us. The wise man prepares to die every day. And if you are not confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're not prepared. The Bible says in Romans 10 and 9, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Somebody say, Jesus, Jesus. save my soul. my soul. We invite you to go to listenbible.com and join us in building billboard Bibles in every language of the world. You can use your cell phone as a billboard Bible. And uh, if you are in Queens, we invite you to come to church at 200.02 Linden Boulevard, Saturdays from 11 